So we're finishing up the install of the mini split system. We got them all wired corresponding to the air handlers. This is a three unit system, Blue Ridge. Uh, right now, I'm working on this bottom one here. This is gonna be your low pressure side, high pressure side. So what I did first is take this, and I actually just, instead of using nitrogen, just use R10 free, or 410 Freon. So you go ahead and you put your yellow hose onto your Freon bottle. You put your blue hose onto your low side port. Open up, and you'll see up here it'll give you like it'll be like 200 pounds. Um, then go around and take the leak detector. Put those fitting. This one and this one because these two are connected. This is one one unit as you can see it's O's. Uh, check your fittings up in the attic too where the air handlers are up in the in the house where the air handlers are make sure you got no leaks there after you do that take out your nitrogen or freon and uh, pick up your or you can leave your, your blue line hooked up to your gauge still and then you're going to want to go ahead and hook to your vacuum pump Pull a vacuum, this gauge right here gives you the micron value. So what we did is we pulled down to about, took about 45 minutes for the last one, pulled down to about 500 microns. It takes a while to get down that low. After you do that, turn off your, your gauge, your low side, turn this off, leave your pump on, let it run for about 5 minutes, turn your pump off. Um, and then this went up to about 700 microns at that point, but it held at 700 microns for about 30 minutes, and uh, that should be pretty good, pretty confident that there's no leaks in the system. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the final install. There's the air handler. Like I said, three three tiers, or three port system, Blue Ridge. Uh, yeah. What else I forgot to mention is once you're hooking this up, there's two valves here. Once you pull your your vacuum through this low side port, uh, and you turn your when you turn your uh, valve off here, so your pump is disconnected from it, and you're holding vacuum, then you take this this nut off here, and this nut off here, and you'll, there's some Allen wrenches in there, or, you know, Allen wrench valves. You want to start, at least on this particular unit, you want to start with your uh, high pressure side, your little the quarter inch line, not the half inch line. You want to release that. We released it real slowly, and it fills this line, and then you also uh, release this line, and then you move on to your next set.